Mr. Speaker, if you'll allow me, I, 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 um, it slipped me in my first presentation to congratulate, congratulate um, District 7, which is actually the district that Chosel and Labry form as part of for coming second in the, all of the districts on the island in the CPA exams. Um, I, 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 I thought um, the, the minister, I realize the Minister of Education is, is out. So um, on behalf of the constituents of Chosel Soldibus, I want to congratulate all the schools um, in, 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 in our district, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the, the, the Prime Minister in his presentation suggests that the opposition will be looking for all kinds of reasons not to support um, this, this resolution, this motion, Mr. Speaker. Um, but I'm flabbergasted because why would, why would anyone, Mr. Speaker, not support a resolution that provides relief? Really? Mr. Speaker, why would anybody not support a resolution providing relief, Mr. Speaker? If anything, if anything, Mr. Speaker, I would admonish the Prime Minister for taking so long to provide that kind of relief, Mr. Speaker. I, 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 <laughs> because, Mr. Speaker, particularly when we take into consideration, you know, the high cost of, of, of living and, 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 and the price of fuel, at the pumps, Mr. Speaker. Um, so, two years, Mr. Speaker, um, definitely a, a bit too long in providing that kind of relief, Mr. Speaker. Um, the Prime Minister quoted Maslow's hierarchy, hierarchy of needs, and, and he did indicate that one of the first um, priorities of human beings was food, which is very true, Mr. Speaker, and that is why I speak to the two-year gap, because because of the high cost of living, you find a lot of people with little resources. Most of their resources went into purchasing of, of food and, and the galvanized that was leaking and the plywood that was rotting. You know, they did not have the kind of surplus to do that. So it may be a little too late, but I'm sure um, many people will, will, will still take advantage of, of what is being provided. So, Mr. Speaker, to say that the opposition will not support, I take, I take, I take opposition. To, to that, Mr. Speaker. I, I, I also, Mr. Speaker, want to raise two matters that the Prime Minister raised. He said that um, he, his government has been the best government for businesses on the island, Mr. Speaker. And I want to remind the Honorable Prime Minister, which I have done before, that a former Minister of Commerce was responsible for removing VAT at the docks for manufacturers, something which the manufacturers had been clamoring for for a very long time, and remove the, 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 the prepayment of that at the docks for manufacturers to have them to pay it at a later date, which I believe was quite substantive as it relates to the needs of the manufacturers. I also want to remind the Prime Minister that a former Minister of Commerce was responsible for the amendment to the Finance Act, where we know for so many years only two entities were enjoying various incentives, which was tourism and agricultural um, um, and departments enjoying, you know, the the the, the, the um, incentives, and, and we we opened that up to include several small businesses, which I'm very happy that the um, government is continuing with all of its MSME programs and everything like that to continue. So, so I, that, that you know, we continue. Um, what is good. So we must indicate, you know, what's good, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, I just want to um, also recognize, it was very glaring to me, um, um, for a period of two years commencing from the second day of August 2023 and then on the first day of August 2025, the purchase lease of an aircraft for local and regional travel. And I'm sure the Prime Minister just coming from um, the CARICOM meeting, I'm sure one of the things that would have been on the table was the encouraging, encouragement of people to invest in sea transportation, which is one of the, the, the areas that is lacking in the region, a ferry or some fast-moving ferry to move from island to island. And I thought that it was, this was something that sh we should encourage for people to invest in 
um, to encourage that it, it, it will help with our movement of agricultural products brought from the islands, from Trinidad all the way up and down. So I think this is one area we must push to provide incentives for um, investors to go in. So I, I, I think it should be one of the areas that should be included in that exemption. And even for a longer period because, you know, they are, they, it, 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 it would take some sort of um, 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 investment, Mr. Speaker. Um, the, the Prime Minister also made mention that the opposition would make fun of F96.19, sanitary towels, pads, tampons, napkins, and similar articles of any material. Mr. Speaker, Hansard will reflect that when we first came to this house um, to lay the paper regarding the, the levy, I stood and I asked a question to the Honorable Prime Minister and I indicated that one of the areas that I wanted clarification on was whether that 2.5 would apply to sanitary um, um, napkins for, for our women. Because I recognize, you know, um, the, the, the critical um, issues that would be surrounding many of the females because I had a struggle, so all of us had struggles in our various communities with regards to some of the hardships, particularly women face in providing basic necessities. So um, to say that the opposition would make fun or that, Mr. Speaker, um, I don't agree because I'm happy that the advice that I, the question that I put forward on that day and it has been brought into the VAT exempt because from my understanding, anything on the VAT exempt um, will not attract the 2.5 percent levy, um, which we'll be discussing, you know, um, later on, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, um, with these few words, I want to indicate that all of St. Lucia will welcome the, um, the exemptions that have been provided. It will also provide me as a parliamentary rep with a little more latitude to stretch the little monies that's coming from the Ministry of Housing. Um, the Chikaka, that, that, I, know, I know the first thing my colleagues from Beaufort North will tell me is, but you are not giving us anything, we give you something. But, but um, it will help, Mr. Speaker, in stretching the, the, the resources. So, um, and I'm hoping you add another similar amount to what I'm getting on, on, on that. So, Mr. Speaker, I'll give you a few words. I thank you.